And I think it's so important that we do because I feel like at the, as we continually, whether directly or indirectly, to support the Chinese Communist Party, we're supporting all sorts of atrocities. It, you know, things things that you know back in World War II, you know, when we were dealing with Nazi Germany, it was like, no, we're going to go to war over that one. But then when it comes to China, we 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 turn and look the other way and kind of pretend that it's not happening. You know, you know, and, and I've had Mitchell Gerber on my show and talk talking about all you know the organ harvesting and, and all of that, and like that's that's something that to me, every single person, every single freedom loving person in this entire planet should be concerned about but it seems like because we can get cheap goods from china then we we turn a blind a blind eye to it and we don't really we don't really do anything about it because hey we're, we're, we're making a lot of money from them and, and i think that that shows the corruption of of a lot of our of a lot of our leadership not even just in politics but in business and and a lot of the you know celebrities and professional athletes and all that and all that kind of stuff and shows how beholden we are to the CCP that we're willing to turn a blind eye to even horrific things like what's happening to the Uyghurs and the concentration camps and organ harvesting and all that. Right, Jeff. And, 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 you know, if you mention about World War One and World War Two, uh, Mouse had actually offered numbers uh, of that. The CCP's, you know, uh, the, the, the CCP's damage to all the humankind was even more, uh, than the total, uh, that we saw from the World War One and World War Two. This is exactly the reality we need to face. And, and you mentioned about the organ harvesting and the Xinjiang concentration camp, right? Who is, who will be able to speak for them? Uh, no one, because they will be silenced, right? And, and I think this is why that, you know, uh, that we need to utilize media as, you know, what the Chinese Communist Party said, that it's a nuclear weapon and targeting them directly. We need to let more people be aware of the, this issue. And, and, and especially, I, I think that the United States uh, needs to be aware because the CCP is not imposing threats in, you know, in, in an island near Alaska. They've already infiltrated your naval officers. They've already established an illegal lab in, in California, they've already produced the fentanyl and, and tried to weaken the, the U.S. younger generations and, and, and they've bought out your uh, top elite schools professors to ask them to you know provide technology information and, and military information back to the CCP. So uh, there is you know uh, no reason for the United States to wait and observe the Chinese Communist Party. The only thing we need to do was to cut off and, and to stop funding them.